Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky has reason feel less than festive as the world prepares. Celebrate Christmas as Kiev looks ahead a new year that offers little prospect of an end its war. With Russia, Zelensky, fresh off a visit the United States that failed unlock new military aid following deadlock in Congress, appears be looking ahead what 2024 will bring for Ukraine which has been marked by nearly two years of intractable conflict. There are clear concerns about Kiev. Russia is roaming Donetsk town of Avdivka. Ukraine's NATO allies are running out of munitions stocks they could send to the front lines. And opposition Republican voices in United States are increasingly asking whether those supplies should go there. Despite everything, Ukraine must continue to shoot down Russia's seemingly never-ending Shahed drones. This is a difficult task for a country struggling with harsh winter conditions and Russian aggression. Will Avdivka fall? Ukraine fought hard against Russian efforts to encircle the town of Avdivka in Donetsk. But Moscow advanced further around the industrial settlement almost every day. Russia launched its attack on city on October 10 sparking some of the heaviest and bloodiest fighting of war so far. In daily operational updates, the Ukrainian general staff reveals that Russia does not hesitate in its attempts to surround Avdivka. Ukrainian forces successfully repelled 57 Russian attacks on areas around Avdivka sector of front. Line previous day, Ukrainian military said on Thursday. Zelensky is likely looking ahead to what 2024 will bring for Ukraine, which is fast approaching two years of grueling war. Chip Samodevila but Russia is gaining territory. Moscow troops advanced southeast village Stepov, three kilometers northwest Avdivka, on Wednesday, according to the Institute for Study War think tank. The town was heavily fortified as a Ukrainian stronghold with almost a decade of experience on the front lines against Russian and proxy forces. Western assessments were initially extremely positive in Ukraine's favor. But Russia made slow and painful progress around Avdivka. This came at a heavy cost to Moscow. But it will still worry Ukraine's commanders and politicians. Britain's Ministry Defense said last month that weeks between the 10th of October and end of November probably saw some highest Russian casualty rates so far in war. Moscow has suffered more than 13,000 casualties around the town since it began its offensive to encircle Avdivka. National Security Council spokeswoman Adrian Watson told CNN this week. A panorama of the Ukrainian city of Avdivka is seen from a drone on December 7, 2023. Moscow made a costly attempt to surround the town. Kostya Liberov Livko's This is now a war attrition. And Russians seem much more willing to sacrifice large numbers soldiers in the process. Said Dan Rice, a former aide to Ukraine's commander-in-chief and current president American University Kiev. He told Newsweek that Ukraine